A record setting bond referendum coming in around $2.5 billion for Charlotte Mecklenburg schools uh, will be on the November ballot. District leaders believe the money will be enough to cover 30 different projects across the district over the next seven years. Ultimately, it will be up to the voters and taxpayers if the school gets the public funds. And he is man that we have relied on heavily for the past couple of hours. Our chief legal expert, Khalif Rhodes, joining us to talk about this. Khalif, break this down here because taxpayers have to pay for it, but CMS is kind of saying, hey, if we want to continue to improve our schools, keep them up to date, we need this money. I mean, you, let's unpack it real quickly. $2.5 billion for sure. And if you're saying, wow, didn't we just have a bond referendum a few years ago? Yeah, 2017, $922 million. But they recommended at that time that it needed about $5 billion to get the projects done. And so... This is money that's needed for really larger projects. Some of these are like $200 million projects, $100 million projects for new schools to be built, for schools to finish phases that they talked about in 2017. And so the, the money is extremely needed to ensure that our schools are not overcrowded, that, I mean, you got folks in trailers right now in some of these schools. And so there is clearly a need understanding where the money will come from and how you utilize that money may be a whole nother conversation. But as Charlotte continues to grow, 60 to 70 people here every day, new coming to this city, our city and our county and our community grows and our schools have to grow with that. And oh. so while those numbers may seem high, buildings cost now. Mm -hmm. um, the, the goods to put buildings together cost, to work to get those, those buildings created cost. And so those numbers have inflated over the time, but I, I can see the justification for the need. There's no real public polling on this issue, even though it's on the ballot here in about a month. What are we hearing from different political organizations, different groups across the city kind of weighing in on this. This is a really weird place because normally these will pass overwhelmingly without any problem. The last one was like 75 percent approval passage. And so you typically see these kind of like a, a rubber stamp, you know, for folks to say we want to support this. Um, the Charlotte Business Alliance and the Regional Alliance will support. They'll throw their support behind this as they just did with the housing bond um, a few months back. Um, you'll see other leaders like Novon and Atrium throwing their support behind it. The Black Political Caucus, who I'm extremely familiar with as the former chair, they will support this measure, but they're asking like that they have more insight. Not that we'll give you blanket support, but we want to have insight into what you're doing with the funds and not just come to us later, but actually talk have to us. Have a seat at the front. table. A seat mm -hmm. at the table is what they're wanting. The majority of these schools are minority majority schools, and they're saying you're just throwing money at them, and we don't want band-aids, we want fixes. And they have support of Hugh McCall and other individuals like Malcolm Cooley, big time leaders in the community supporting their request for that. But on the other side, you have folks that are asking for additional seats at the table. A group of Black Panthers, specifically led by uh, Pastor Ricky Woods, that's over the pastor over First Baptist West, has said, look, we don't know if this is the right time to push forward with this type of bond request. We don't know if the implications that the taxes will increase over time. And if you go to the CMS site, it says they don't even understand the long-term uh, implication of what this will cost. And so I think they are also asking the right questions. Who's going to pay for this ultimately? It will be us at some point, but what will that look like and how much we'll pay? I think nobody knows. And so nobody wants to go into this blanketly asking and signing off a blank check. But understanding that there is a need and understanding where the money will come from, that's the debate that's been happening since February. I mean, this is, was passed in February by CMS. This, uh, the Board of uh, County Commissioners approved it back in uh, August, and there was contention back then. It wasn't unanimous. Pat Cotham was not in favor of it. Bill Malik pushed back a number of times. Arthur Griffith had a number of questions. So the conversations have been there, and people have been asking the right questions. It's just important now that the voters recognize that the decision will be up to them. November 7th, it will be on the ballot. Either you will go for it or you won't.